When I first read Icons of Evolution, I thought this is going to be a blockbuster, and primarily because of, I remember the drawings of Heckel's embryos and the description of it. And I thought to myself, you know, everybody who's gone to school in the United States of America has seen this drawing and they'll now realize that they've been lied to. And people don't like to be lied to and this will be a, a real sea change in, in the discussion because people will see that some of this discussion is, is not based on facts, it's based on uh, what people want to be, want to see, want to be true. I think the lasting impact of Icons of Evolution is to alert the public to be wary that even in textbooks examples, even when a whole community of scholars assures you that something's a fact, it may not be and there may be other more human reasons like uh, they want this to be true uh, and so people will take the claims of science, uh, especially when they go against their own experience or their own intuitions, will take those claims with a, a big grain of salt.